In this video, we're going to be learning about Whisper, OpenAI speech to text, audio to text, transcription, API endpoint. It's really quick and easy. Let's, I'm going to put this link in the description if you want to read more in detail about the Whisper, but let's just start with a quick demonstration. Using Whisper API from OpenAI is really easy. You do have to pip install OpenAI, and then you have to set your API key in the user environment variable, which I've done, or you can define it here in the code. After that, you define an audio file, in this case, output.wav file right here. Let's actually quickly play this. One, two, three, we're testing the OpenAI's Whisper API. And then we are just getting the transcript. We're making a request to OpenAI with that audio, dot transcribe, and we are using the Whisper-1 model, and then we are inputting our audio file, which is here in this case, output.wav. And then we are printing the transcript's text element. If we run this, we'll see that we are getting one, two, three. We are testing OpenAI's Whisper API. So it's really quick if you have already your audio files, but how about if we want to record audio files? That's why I created two different implementation. Now let's demo these and talk about how we can create something like this. In both cases, both the main.py file and main underscore two pi file, we are using Pi Audio on keyboard and also, of course, OpenAI. Let's just demonstrate. The first one works with the R button. Let's run this. R button starting the recording, then R button stopping the recording, and it actually creates multiple WAV files. And then when we press Q, then it combines them and then gets transcription. If you press R, then now we are recording. My voice is effectively being recorded. If I press R, recording stop, output.1 wave has been generated. Let me delete this earlier file just so we can see what's going on. So far, we recorded one wave file. If you press R again, then now we are again recording. And then if you press R again, then now we have generated the second file. I thought this might be useful for your implementation. We're going to talk about the code, of course, and it's going to be available for my Patreon supporters. And now you can quit this process with Q, but you have to use it after you have stopped your recording. Once you press Q, then we are combining the audio files and then deleting the previous audio files. You can actually keep them if you like. Then now we have generated an audio file. Let's listen to it real quick. If you press R, then now we are recording. My voice is affecting the beam. And I just paused the recording, but as you see, we have printed the transcription right here. You can follow along and... Record it, R again. Then now we are again recording. The last part doesn't seem to be, I don't know why that happened, but it transcribed the file perfectly well. Let's test it again to make sure everything is working. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Okay, now I should put everything together. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. I should have said seven, eight, nine anyway, but here is the recording. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this implementation works perfectly. Let's move on to the second implementation. The second implementation actually allows you allows you to use R. Let me delete this output.wav file real quick before we begin. It says press R to stop and pause recording and then press escape to stop recording and save the file. So this won't create individual files, but you can actually pause and record. Let's just start. One, two, three. See, now the recording is paused. It's not recording. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And when we press escape, we have saved the entire recording as output. Let's listen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here our transcription is printed as well. So now let's review the code for both implementations. We are importing PyAudio. You have to pip install PyAudio OpenAI. I believe those are the only two requirements for this. But if you do, if it gives you an error, please pip install the other requirements as well. You, you have to import Wave, keyboard, and OS as well. And then we set up our recording parameters just like this. I'm not an audio engineer, so I'm not clear. I had GPT's help writing this code as well. Then we initialize our audio to be Pi Audio. We do set a recording counter. This is to keep track of the files we have recorded so that we can actually delete them in the end and combine it into a single one. Then we define a callback function to handle audio stream with those parameters which we have defined. I've written a detailed box string here to further try and explain. Then we have to append to the frames that in data, then we are returning in data and pyaudio.pa continue. 
Then we create a keyboard event. Pay attention that this is also a function, which takes in the event. And to, this is to handle keyboard events. And now we are setting some global variables right here, such as the pi audio parameters. And then we say if the event is R, the, if the user has pressed the R button, and if you're not recording currently, then start the recording and set the recording to be true. And then we initialize the frames. And then wave output file name to recording counter dot wave. Output underscore recording counter dot wave. And then we add one on to the recording counter to increase the recording counter. We're going to use this a little bit down the road. Then we define our stream for, to be audio.open. Format is format. These parameters we have defined. And stream callback is the callback function, which we have defined right here. And then we just start the streaming. And then we print recording started. Else, it says, stop recording and save the audio file. That is to say, if when the user presses R, and if the recording is set to true, then this else condition will be true. Then we're setting the recording to false. We are stopping the streaming, closing the streaming, and we are actually writing that file and to the working directory, and we are printing recording stop. And then we initialize recording flying and stream, recording false, stream recording is false to begin with, stream is non frames is non to begin with because we are initializing the frames right here. And we are initializing the recorder inside the troop with the first R pre key press. Then we start listening to the keyboard that on press. We are listening for the keyboard button. Now this part is pretty cool. I came up with this as a solution, but feel free to change the code to fit your needs. I said I just want to run this situation all the time because the audio starts running in a loop. And then if I say, unless if the keyboard is pressed Q, okay? So when true, the, if keyboard press is Q, I came up with this while loop as a solution, but I'm sure some of you can actually come up with something much better. Please mention it in the comments. So I am running a while true loop to stop this rest of the code from running because it would auto eventually audio not terminate or will be in this R loop. We are continuously either recording or stopping and writing a file, right? We want to do something else. So that's why I created a while loop. And then I'm just here, just simply checking for a Q button, which is to quit. If this happens, then we are actually combining all the files and then we are breaking out of the loop. So then therefore we are actually ending the recording process effectively. So if keyboard is pressed Q, then we are printing combining audio files. Then we are opening a new output.wav file. And then we loop over the record from one to recording counter. And then we open each output file, which we have named output underscore one, two, so on and so forth. And we call that in file. And then we check if the I equals one, then out file set parameters in file that get param out file, right? So you, I guess, have to do this. I'm not quite clear why this is, but I know it works. And then we just simply add right after that transcribing the audio because this to the output wave file what we need and then all we have to do is what we did initially just to get the output wave file and send it to open it to transcribe it with whisper then we are printing it and then we are breaking terminating the recording process and then this line actually deletes our individually recorded audio files you can comment this out if you don't want that to happen so this really explains our first main.py file. Let's move on to our second one. This is, I think, a more elegant solution. And also these files will be available for my Patreon supporters. The link will be in the description. So our second example, again, imports PyAudio, Wave, Keyboard, Time, and OpenAI. You have to install PyAudio and OpenAI. And you have to have, just like your secret API key set for both code examples. I'll just insert them here real quick before I forget. I believe this one already has it maybe. If not, we'll put it right here as well. Then we are defining a function called record underscore audio with similar parameters, just like we needed in the first file. Then we def define the stream to be the P object, which is audio, and then open and in this format. Then we again initialize the frames to zero and recording the false to begin with. Then we are printing print Press R to start pause recording and press escape to stop recording and save the file. Then we say while not keyboard is press escape. Then we say if keyboard is press R and the recording is we are setting recording to not recording. And then we are printing recording if recording else recording is paused. 
to account for the recording and the not recording. And we are doing a little bit of a time that sleep. I'm not sure if you'll find this useful. You might want to remove this. It gives you just a moment of time between the stopping and starting your recording. But sometimes if you're too eager, you might actually get your recording cut off in the beginning. Maybe you might like to reduce it to 0 0.2. Then if you are recording, then we just simply add the, to data the stream that we, the chunk that we are creating, the audio chunk, and then we are appending to the frames that data. Then we say recording stopped and saving because now while, because it's, if the escape is pressed, then we get outside of this loop and then we are saying recording stopped and then it's saving. It stops the stream, it closes the stream and then it terminates the P object, which is the Pi audio object. Then it opens with wave that open file name. We are going to assign the file name with the record audio. As you remember, we have defined this in the beginning. File name, we are given the file name. And then it will record audio, it will take that and apply it to this. And then we open it with the intention of writing. Then we write all the frames, then we join all the frames, obviously, so that our multiple recordings get combined together. Then we print our file name. And then we are here again doing the OpenAI open AI whisper call right here. We assign the audio file to be the output.wav file, transcript to be the openai.audio transcribe again. And then we are printing the transcription and are engaging our program here with the if underscore underscore name initializer. So again, if you were to run this one more time, you're going to be able to see and let's look at our files as well. Delete this output file. Again, press R to start. One, two, three, we are talking about OpenAI Whisper. Pause the recording. Now it's not going to record anymore. And then let's say four, five, six, this will conclude our video shortly. And now we press escape and our output file is saved. And now we get our transcript. And I guess it made a mistake at the end. Speaking too fast, I'm not sure. You can't expect it to do a 100% job, but this is how you deal with Whisper API. Both implementations will be available for Patreon supporters. I have three tiers of memberships and you'll get access to 20 plus project code downloads plus some blog posts, whatnot, $9 should do just fine. The, and the AI virtuoso gives you the ability to talk to me one hour every month to video meetings and whatnot, if you'd like to choose that option. Like I said, I will put the link to OpenAI's Whisper API documentation in the link. Please read it. It's really wonderful. And also become a member of our Echo Hive. Discord server if you like to talk about these things and see you in the next one.